I already got some questions about, you know, where to buy one of these Lukoski coils. This is not actually a real one, but uh, I also want to, I do want to point out, though, if you look in the archives, if, if you find the photos of different models of a Lukoski coil, they did have something kind of similar to this, uh, where it was taken in a briefcase, a large, well, portable luggage case, and it was called like a portable version of the Lukoski coil that had a single Tesla coil on it. And doctors at the time were using it to treat people with. Now, I'm going to say this, even even this one, that's not the real one per se. It is stronger than um, the Violet Ray, which Nikola Tesla developed to um, be a, a cheap method to, um, you know, treat various things. Now, the Violet Ray today, since 1952, the American Medi Medical Association has said that the Violet Ray is a quack device. Now, here's one caveat if you want to use a little common sense. You know, you, you figure it out. You can use the violet ray, which is akin to this. It's just a bulb that puts out like a purplish violet ray, you know. It's, it's the same type of deal as, like, as this, except this is actually a lot stronger than that. But they, they said you can use it for co the violet ray for cosmetic purposes. In other words, it's been used in cosmetology uh, where people have been treating like facial wrinkles and things like that uh, with the violet ray with success you know they had blemishes and stuff so but you can't use it for medical purposes even though there's loads of stuff way back that say it works now you can find some of the old devices on um, eBay and they sell violet rays for cosmetic purposes that are actually a lot weaker so when my point I'm bringing up the violet ray the violet ray was considered good up until the AMA said it was fraudulent you know I don't believe it's fraudulent like I said if it wouldn't work for beauticians to actually rejuvenate the skin if it wasn't health beneficial in other ways right and just common sense right but um, this device is sold from amazingone.com in New Hampshire it's amazing the word amazing you know with the uh, number one not one spelt out, amazingone.com. And I'll tell you, it's not a healing device, or maybe they call it a healing machine, but it's not for, it's only for experimentation. Well, only thing I notice with it, it does seem to give you more energy. I don't know what the hell it is. Um, I know years ago, they used to have this wire coming from the coil attached in here someplace. And then somebody found out online just years ago, yeah, I attached it to the outside and it works a lot better. And then they, when they manufacture it, you know, for the last umpteen years, this thing's already five years old, um, they attach it to the outside of the coil now. So uh, somebody online told me to set the spark gap at a sixteenth of an inch. It runs better than an eighth inch. I did that, you know, which is a spark gapper adjustment piece in the back there. It's got two tungsten rods that have a gap that runs the Tesla coil. Um it does run better. Um, it's a little quieter. It's still pretty noisy. It's not like a real one, real one. But don't don't let me dissuade you that it's. What I'm saying is bang for the buck, because I seen I've seen you know you know altered states. I think in New Zealand, you know they show the old photographs and things about you know patients being healed with the real multi wave oscillator, Lukoski multi wave oscillator, and the results from the hospitals. But the device they sell has two Tesla coils in it, and it's coming out of the box with um, a large, with, with the rings like this, and it has a sending coil, a sending coil feeds one set of rings, and a receiving coil feeds the other set, and you stay in between it. It's stronger than this, but it's, you know, it's over $2,000 plus a few hundred bucks for shipping, so maybe, I don't know, $2,400. This is about 1000 and the shipping's a lot less, you know. So what I'm saying is bang for the buck. I mean, and then if something breaks, and the only thing I know about that you really need to change on this is the uh, tungsten rods in the back. As they wear out, you, you can adjust them so far, and there's no tungsten rod left. You just replace them. I got extras. But it's a lot simpler unit, so if ever something broke on this thing, I'm going to say, let me take this out, and what's this part number? Go look one up on eBay and bolt it back in. We're good to go. Um, the ones that are the real ones, I've seen ones that are better that are 
maybe it's not doesn't look like it's exactly real but it uses three tesla coils in a box then a tesla coil in the back of it's like a big box right and a tesla coil in the back of this descending unit behind this and then there's an array of coils like this over here it has a receiving unit with the tesla coil so it uses five tesla coils and a bunch of other electronic stuff okay that thing it's a, it's more than the two thousand something dollars. It's just one I think from the Netherlands or something. Then there's there's a place in Croatia that you have to email them to get a price. They don't even have a link. And I'm thinking, God, if you got to ask them for an email, you know, eat by email what the price is. <coughs> you know, it must be up there. There's another place in Wisconsin. <coughs> I emailed them to find out what the price is. They didn't email me back yet, so I don't know. To me, it's like. You know, if you're going to try this, I would not invest crazy amounts of money. This was about $1,000, which is not cheap, right? But it's not several thousand dollars. I know Eric Dullard, you know, if you ever heard of him, uh, his actual Lukowski coil, starting bid, $10,000 plus, I don't know, four or $500 shipping, starting bid, $10,000. Now, if the big oligarchs and the money bastards, you know, and Bezos and whatever, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean, Bill Gates, they don't care. They don't want you to know this stuff. It's, the guy was murdered, I'm telling you. They say that. They, they won't tell you that. The guy that really, it was really Tesla that it where it came from, but um, George Lukowski really did all the grunt work putting this together. Tesla had a help him perfect it and stuff. But George Lukowski, it's his patent and stuff. But this is not the real one, but it's, I'm not saying it's garbage. I think it's a lot stronger than any Violet Ray out there. And a Violet Ray worked despite what the AMA said. So you can, I would go with this if you're going to try it. Because if it breaks, you can fix it a lot easier. It doesn't take up a lot of room. Um, and I found with the adjusting that spark gap at a sixteenth of an inch, I'm fine. The other thing I would suggest, and I have been suggesting this many times, is the zapper thing. I swear to God, this thing gives you more energy, too, when you use it extensively. Um, I would not, if you're going to try it, I would not invest big bucks initially. You know, I mean, he's got different zappers at different prices, and I know the better ones are better. But you can go for the cheapest one, that the Power Zapper 6-pack. Um... Just Google it, buy Parazapper six pack, right? Right. That's what it is. I would not just get the simplest kit. I would get this one, the cheapest one, with the whole nine yards, with the 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 tubes, the copper tubes, the little paddles, the big paddles, and the rechargeable batteries in a battery charger. And um, you can actually. What you could get, like a, I showed this on the other video, you can get an elastic um, belt. It could be a weightlifter belt. It could be one of those concealed carry belts. Except in this case, you'll be using it to wear the zapper with. And you could put a paddle on each side of your waist, and you can walk around and use it all day. It's unobtrusive. I've noticed when you use this many hours a day, I don't. I don't think. I think all these things are kind of interrelated. I think this thing is actually working like an electron donor. Just like if you were taking a whole bunch of freaking vitamin C or something. Um, basically, chemistry and electricity are interrelated. You know, our body has the battery, each, each cell in our body has a battery voltage. It's about a half a volt negative. And that's a normal voltage. As the vat voltage goes closer and closer to zero, the cell dies. Well, how this is supposed to work, vitamin C can help charge the body, body's vitamin cell because it's an electric, electron donor. This thing does it, too. This thing does it. They're all doing kind of like the same thing. But the problem is, you know, you know, I saw, I saw like, in other words, I saw, like, like an, um, you know, the woman that had the facial cancerous, whatever it was, lesion, big thing like you know like that on her side of her face and they used two treatments for 15 minutes each with a true Lukowski coil not this portable version but with the five Tesla coils total and the big sending and receiving array of copper copper uh, coils 
and she was and within 15 days half of the cancerous lesion was gone and in 30 days the whole thing was gone with a few more treatments but could you get there with something like this doing it every single day for 30 minutes or two 15 minute treatments a day maybe could you do it with this using a positive offset paddle with 30,000 volts, I mean 30,000 hertz, excuse me, with the 9.5 volts. Could you use it with that? Could it work? You know, I think you can still get the same result with the cheaper stuff. It's just going to take you longer, you know? I mean, and the thing is, if you decide that, oh yeah, this really, really works for me. And you're saying, wow, this thing is, you know, just make sure that when you use this, don't touch this, because watch. Oh, it's not plugged in. <laughs> That's one thing. You gotta plug it in. See that? <laughs> you get shocked. Now you won't get killed, but you'll get a nasty shock. And uh, so it's good to be, you wanna be close to it so you get the. Um, energies coming off of it. I don't really think it's all about the frequencies, the array of frequencies coming off of here. I really think it has to do with um, it's bringing in energies in and around us or something. I think there's, I think that's, like I said this before, one big hint about that was that when this device, the real one actually, but you know, this is a smaller version of it, a much smaller version. The real device was put in a Faraday cage, the whole thing, with the patient and all that, uh, or the plant, or whatever they're treating, it was a person, a plant, or whatever. Um, they uh, they found it didn't work nearly as well. And it wasn't, the Faraday cage wasn't between the person or the plant and this, the whole thing was in a Faraday cage. So, you know, the theory that this is actually bringing in energies in and around us and concentrating it on the subject may be really how it's working. Because the Faraday gauge cage was actually blocking the energies from going through the Faraday cage to where this thing was directing the energies, right? So in other words, it's it actually, this simple coil, like when you're looking at this, this simple coil, you see there's a little gap like this? You could put just a copper coil like this around a plant without any of this electronic stuff. And you have this side facing the sun, this side facing away from the sun, and the plant is right here in the middle. And you have this up on a couple wooden stakes. So like the coil kind of sits like that towards the sun, and the plant is sitting right here. It grows better, just with that. And you think all these farmers would notice stuff? Because, you know, it's amazing. They'll probably think it's been proven. It works. Just a simple coil. That's why even when you wear these coils, like this gap is too big, though. But that's how they, why they make these make these coils like this with copper. And they got that gap. It picks up, and a lot of people swear by this, even though they think they'll have, like, uh, I don't know, wrist or elbow problem from tennis or golf or some garbage. I just wear them for the hell of it, you know. I'm always working with doing stuff and working with my hands, but... I don't feel any pain or nothing. Maybe it's because of this. I'm not sure. I got another one on over here. See? <laughs> got to watch it. It gets green after a while. <laughs> but, you know, it's it, they're all interrelated. Actually, that's where even the nutrition is even related to this. It's actually bringing in, I don't know, it's, it's increasing the frequencies of the cells. I'll tell you, even with the foods itself, um, if you take processed food, the frequency of processed food, the frequency, that is, of processed food is zero. Then you get better food, it's goes you've got a higher frequency. And if you get whole food, whole organic food, the frequency of the food is even better yet. Then if you get herbs, herbs, the frequency is even higher of the food. Then if you get uh, the true uh, essential oils, like where you're taking uh, rose oil or something like that, or frankincense, or you know, boiling it down to an oil or whatever it is, uh, processing it to an oil. Those oils are even higher frequencies. They notice where you can even put them, an oil just on the skin or the soles of the feet, and it can actually affect uh, and heal the body overall, even if you have serious ailments. Ailments. So, I know, I mean, you could make that cute little phrase that Tesla says, everything's about frequency and energy, and if you want to understand the universe, and yeah, I know, but, you know, I'm not giving you a sales, 
I'm just telling you, I'm I'm a practical guy. I mean, you know, maybe this is a dumb example, but you know, if I'm going to buy a lawnmower, I go buy the one for $154 and use the hell out of it for 20 years. I don't buy, you know, super fancy things. And just like with stupid car or something like that, you know, you could buy a, a high-end luxury Mercedes and you're better off with a freaking a, a Hyundai Econo box. And, you know, maybe it doesn't get you there in style and doesn't go, you know, 200 miles an hour down the Autobahn, but it, it works, you know. So, I mean... Maybe that's a piss poor analogy in some ways because I know the real Lukoski coil will probably work like crazy. But the, the flip side of it is it's not just cost, but if something goes wrong with it, have fun. Have fun figuring out what the hell broke. This thing, there's not that many parts in this thing. That's what I like about it, see? <laughs> I just call up those guys in New Hampshire and say, even if I can't figure it out, I'd just send it, I'd send it back with this thing off of it, <laughs> tell them to go fix it. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's what I would do. So, you know, and, I, and even like the zapper, you know the zapper? I mean, this little six-pack, I used the hell out of this damn thing, man. It's, I've had this for years, man. I've used, I've used a, I use a zapper probably 10 or more hours a day, and I feel really good, so. But that's that thing's not that much money. But it works best if you got the whole kit, though. I mean, um, you know, with the paddles and the, the handhelds and the foot pads. And the foot pads are a pain in butt to use. I don't use those too much. But I always wear, uh, I always wear the zapper. I can put it on a belt. I can put one thing under my arm or something. Hold one in my hand or something. Just use it all the time. It's got subtle energies, and I think that thing, I think all this stuff is kind of related, like something like herbs or vitamin C or some of the vitamins that are like antioxidants or something. Vitamin C is actually really a vitamin in the league of its own, right? That's why I got a whole pail of it here. The zapper and the Tesla coil, or that's actually the multi-wave oscillator. And like I said, you can actually even just wear these rings. You can wear a copper ring around your body. You can get, you can go down to Lowe's or Home Depot and um, get some copper wire with the insulation on it. And some people say it's great. Some people say, I, I tried it for a while. I didn't really notice nothing, but, you know, some people do. And they took the uh, copper wire and put it around their waist. As long as the ends don't touch. But if it's got insulation on it, you can just make a hook on each end and... and they don't touch, right? If the insulation's on there, you just use some insulated wire from Lowe's or Home Depot, and you can make a coil, put it around your waist. I don't know. You would think they would... In France, when Lukowski was first... When this stuff was coming out in the 1930s, I'm going to tell you, it really come from Nikola Tesla, but, you know... Uh, in France, though, in the 1930s, when this machine was really doing its job... But you remember what happened after the 1930s. France got invaded by the Nazis, so a lot of this stuff got screwed up. And it was only in the New York hospital in New York for about six or seven weeks and another place with a urologist for about six or seven weeks. And when George Lukowski came back to New York to see, you know, check on everything, it was doing great. Um, he got hit and run by a limousine. And he wasn't so hurt so bad that he had to go to the hospital right away. He wanted to go use his equipment to get better. And guess what happened? He went to the hospital and he died. Just like I told you about that other thing with the uh, the patent from the Swiss pharmaceutical company, how they can use energies to super improve the, uh, the DNA code, to wake up the DNA code that's in seeds and fish eggs. So when they plant these seeds or grow the fish uh, in hatcheries, that the, uh, the end product, whether it's wheat or salmon, you know, the case of fish eggs, is like way better than anything we currently have. Remember, you know what happened with the two inventor, uh, um, inventors of that in 1992 in Switzerland? They unexpectedly died in 2001. And it's like, it's not a real complicated patent, but nobody's telling you what it is. So what do you got, 28 years on a patent? So it should be up in uh, 2020, right? We'll probably have World War Three by then, so... You can hang that up. Anyway, <laughs> back to 
But, you know, to tell you the truth, what I, I, I really like this thing the best. Because if you got rechargeable batteries, this, this thing's too simple and you can carry it with you. You can't carry it. Even this little portable thing, you can't carry this with you. I mean, you could be walking out in the woods with this thing or something. Or it could be just, oh, I could just be walking, uh, walking five or ten miles just because I want to walk five or ten miles, get some exercise. And I could put, you know, the flat copper paddles would wrapped in a paper towel wrapped up with, you know, with, with some wet with, so with tap water so they conduct electricity and stick that in a elastic weight belt or one of those concealed carry belts, whatever, for the purposes of holding these paddles in place. And I could be walking five or ten miles for exercise and using this. I can't do that with this. I sit there in front of it. The thing is, it never wears out, as far as I can tell. I've used the hell out of this thing. It's been working great. This is cheap because it's like you got a bucket of it. And some people go, that's not the real vitamin C. Well, it's still very, 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 very helpful, okay? You want to get the whole vitamin C? Yeah, go ahead. Go right ahead for 20 times the price. Go ahead. But, you know, that's my whole point of this video. I'm telling you, I'm a very practical person. I'm not here to, uh, I'm definitely not a sales rep for any of these people. And I'm, I'm um, it's not that I can't buy this stuff. Oh, I definitely can. I can buy another house if I want. But the, problem, the thing is, I'm not, I don't throw money away. I look for the bang for the buck. I, I like this thing. I like this thing. You know, if they sold the real one for a few thousand dollars, but I got a, feel, I got a feeling a real one is not going to be a few thousand dollars. It's going to be way up there, man. I mean, way the hell up there. So I don't feel like I don't feel like spending that kind of money. And um, you know, if you're using this every day consistently, plus you're using this. Plus, you're taking good vitamins, you're taking vitamin C, you're probably getting about the same damn thing, right? Overall, and is it cheap? Yeah, it's cheap. That's the whole point, right?